Why, hello there. You know when you feel like, oh, I look kind of cute, and then you turn on the camera? <laughs> Not feeling so cute, but that's okay. And yes, I have a Yorkie on my sweater. That's cute. All right. I am at it again with another quarantine haul because the packages keep arriving. I'm going to start off with something that might not be so exciting for you, but for me, it's what keeps my days pleasant. Candles. So first, my best friend is so generous and for my birthday, she sent me a $40 for a gift card and she also sent me a few Nest candles. One is a scent that I have never smelled. It is called Blue Garden. Yep. It has blue hydrangea, hyacinth, and forget-me-nots. Uh, it has green notes, blah, blah, blah. Smells like a garden. Out of one in 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst, I would give this a 6.5. I just, I'm not a hydrangea person. I grew up around hydrangeas. So I'm just like, meh. But it's the thought that counts. And I will absolutely burn it. So it's not bad. Then I have the Sicilian Tangerine. I love this one. This one is super nice. So I'm very excited to get this. But then she just got me started on this kick. So <laughs> I ordered myself the bamboo candle, which smells amazing. The apricot tea, which also smells divine. And then I've been wanting this one for a while. I smell it all the time at work. And I got the Rose Noir and Oud, which anything smells like rose, I love it. So moving along, I guess we'll go to face. So starting off with skincare, another insanely generous birthday gift that I got is the wheel de jasmine so this is the jasmine face oil from chanel and it is so chic and so amazing um oh man it's such a nice way to kind of incorporate a very luxe face oil into your skincare routine it is so chic so pretty but it also smells and feels amazing so super excited to incorporate this into my routine um another thing that was so insanely generous i have a friend who works for the skincare brand shawl and she wanted to check up on me in quarantine she wrote me an insanely kind note and she also sent me um, a backup of my shawl anti-aging face oil, which as you all know, I am obsessed with. So now I have a backup because I recently uh, had to start a new one. Um, I love this. And uh, I have never tried this before. This is the Sella Intu Intuitive don't quote me, uh, light cellular renewal cream, which looks like this. And I'm pretty sure this has salicylic acid in it. So it's going to help to kind of be a lightweight hydrating moisturizer, but also it's cell renewing. So it's anti-aging and it's going to help to kind of keep your skin balanced. And I also got the bio regenerative serum, the active energy lift serum. So it's anti-aging, I mean, look at this packaging. It's so nice, like seriously. Oh, so pretty. So I'm very excited to try these guys. Now I got, and I've actually tried this out once and I liked it. The scent is almost like an artificial orangey scent. This is the Natura Bose, uh Vitamin C Souffle Mask. Looks like this, really nice. Um, it really is like a moussey consistency. Um, I liked it. I did not have a bad reaction. I do well with Natura Bose products. I think it's a phenomenal line. And this one wasn't crazy. I think it was like $60 and I got it at the 25% uh, off Bergdorf Goodman sale. So I like this one. I will continue. I'm trying to get a lot more vitamin C in my skincare. Um, speaking of, this is, I got this from the Sephora sale the Dermalogica 
Biolumin C Serum. This is the brightening uh, vitamin C serum. This had very good reviews. And again, just trying to incorporate more vitamin C. Um, enhances skin's natural defense system to brighten firm and help dramatically reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So looks like this. I have not opened it yet, but let's see. Yeah, ah, cute. So it looks like this. I'm excited. Let's give it a whirl. So I'm going to use up my Sturm serum. I don't have a backup for my brightening serum, so I thought I would give something else a try. Um, just kind of getting, oh, and super cute. The shawl package that I got came with two of these um, Konjac sponges. Konjac? Shh. Um, these are 100% natural, extra soft and gentle. They help to gently exfoliate and soften the skin and you just get them really wet. They look like this. They kind of remind me of those Bosha sponges. Um, you get them wet. They feel squishy now, but then once you get them really wet, it's just a very gentle way to use with your cleanser, a good deep clean. Um, yeah, just a couple of pumps of your cleanser and so I'm excited to try these out. Um, then last thing for face, which is so not like me, um, but I got my first Fenty Beauty product, which is the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. I also don't do cream products, but everyone was getting it and I was like, eh, all right. So I got the color Teddy. So I'm gonna open it. Well, everyone knows what this looks like. It's cute. Uh, let's see if my color matching is, yeah, it's not bad. So yeah, it's cute. I'll try it. Um, no scent, thank God. So I'll try it. I'm always nervous with cream products if I break out. So we shall see. I also got a nail polish. I'm obsessed with Smith & Cult polishes. It is not gel, it is a regular polish. But look at this packaging, it's so chic. I love fun colors, so right now my toes are blue. Um, my nails are neutral, so I've just been painting my nails like crazy because I'm super bored. Um, then from Chanel, I got three of their new liquid eyeliners. This is what the packaging looks like. They're like these long tubes. They have a felt tip. So it looks like that. Anytime you wanna focus. Come on, there we go. And I swatched all three colors. I knew that some of them were limited edition. So I wanted to get, that's a cat scratch right there. But I got the black, I got the brown and the cobalt blue. Um, I knew that these were everyday wearable and I knew that this was limited edition and mama loves herself a good blue liner. So I'm very excited to have these. I will put those. Ugh, I have no room from all my concealers. I'll have to organize that. And lastly from Chanel, I got the new number 104 face brush. It's the touch up face brush. I've already felt this super soft. Look how nice that is. It's just like this beautiful, beautiful, super soft brush. I think it'll be great for either blending out concealer, kind of buffing out any tinted moisturizer, <laughs> maybe brushing my baby curls. Um, I have to wash this, but, cause you should always wash your brushes before you use them. But oh my God, so soft. Really am excited for that. Um, they also came out with a couple other brushes that are new. Um, I know that they redid some of their brushes for different bristles. So definitely check out those brushes. Going on, actually kind of last makeup-ish item. I um, wanted to mention my friend's eyelashes that she came out with. I always support my friends um, who come out with different brands. She is a co-founder to a company called Perfect Lashes. And so I bought three different pairs. This pair is called Allie. 
very pretty nice and wispy i i personally don't wear lashes but i will i will one day i have a ton of them for my clients but this one is called kisses i also personally like more individuals these are really pretty on myself at least and these i think are my favorite these are called cheers i think those are beautiful I, maybe I'll start. I mean, I have great lash glow. Just pop them on. I, it's so funny because I never wear lashes, but I should try. Moving on. So let's do body and then let's do hair and then end with fragrance. Body. I got the $10 size, the small size of the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA from First Aid Beauty. I personally loved the Derma Doctor. Um the uh, what is it what was it called i don't know but it helped with keratosis pilaris which is what this is supposed to do and it's a fraction of the price so i thought i would try it because i get these little bumps in my arms and on my legs honestly so i thought i would give this a shot and then the last body product holy guacamole i tried this yesterday for the first time i ordered this from violet gray it is so luxurious it smells like lemons almost like a like in between lemons and an orange creamsicle oh it's so decadent like this is pure luxury this is stupid expensive like of course my barbara sturm body lotion is 100 bucks and this is 90 but this is like a dense big thing this is the mother body butter You'll see all my fingerprints on it, but it's so nice. I used it yesterday. Oh, it's so nice. You honestly don't need a lot. I definitely used too much yesterday because I was just all up in that, like really enjoying it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to make my legs shiny. And I put it on and it was all day hydration. Like you could feel it. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm choking. You could feel it on my legs throughout the entire day. Like sometimes my lotions, they feel good when you put them on, but then my body soaks it up. All day my legs were so soft and hydrated. Amazing stuff, so good. Two things for hair. I wanted something that was kind of like a leave-in conditioner slash heat protectant. I've used Living Proof before and I haven't used it for a very long time, but I used to really like the Restore line. This is the Restore Perfecting Spray. Uh, it's UV heat protection and conditioning detangling spray. So I thought I would get this guy. It'd be great if you would focus. Thank you. So it looks like that. And last hair product, which I used yesterday for the first time. Only time will tell because my scalp is so sensitive and I ordered it on a whim. It's my first time using a Playa hair product. This is the Healing Hair Mask. Deeply moisturizes and soothes scalp. It has kaolin, clay, and um, amla oil. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to be incredibly hydrating to your hair, and it's also supposed to be nourishing and kind of detoxifying to your scalp. I did not do well with the Christoph Robin, the sea salt scrub. It was just too aggressive, and it really, it broke out my scalp, gave me dandruff terrible this felt really good um, my hair feels insanely insanely soft and silky and just really nice um, I did my normal two rounds of shampoo I always wash with one shampoo and then I rinse wash rinse and then I do a deep conditioner so I use this um, it's nice the scent it's pretty light it kind of reminds me of the Boom Boom Cream. Um, like kind of almondy, not nearly as strong as the Boom Boom Cream, but it's nice, I can deal with it. But, oh, just opening it, I'm like, uh, uh, I'm not a big fan of the scent, personally. I know people who love the scent of this line, I'm not a big fan, but like one out of 10, I'll give it like a six on the scent maybe a five, but the way that it makes your hail, hail feel, the way that it makes your hair feel, I would give it a nine. So I just have to see if my scalp is okay with this. 
last. I wanted this for so long. I got a sample of this fragrance and I brought that sample with me to New York and I used it up and I was like, God damn it. Like I'm not one to buy fragrance. I'm not, I just, I don't spray fragrance on myself like that. And I've been obsessing over it. And then I was just like, screw it. I got the uh, Capital from Diptyque. It is so luxurious and amazing. It starts off kind of musky, but then it dries down, at least on me, kind of sweet. Oh, it's so ridiculously nice. So the way you open these is you just kind of pull apart. And oh, I kept it in here because I really wanted to enjoy the full experience. Oh. Oh, it's so nice. It is honestly, it's such a beautiful fragrance. But god damn, $180? Like, you kidding me? It's insanely expensive. But this is beautiful. I absolutely love this fragrance. Oh, it's so nice. So I'm gonna keep her in the box for right now because she deserves her moment to look beautiful. <clears throat> I love this fragrance. So that is my video. Um, I'm literally still looking at, no, I kind of cleaned this area off. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So far I have six other things to talk about. I have a package waiting for me downstairs. Man, there are a lot of hauls. <laughs> like, keep your pants on people, get a drink, because chances are there will be another haul just around the corner. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, oh, I got a new subscriber. Thank you for hitting that bell, or, hitting the button and hopefully the bell. But please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Will you stop? I really appreciate it. I just love this platform where I can just kind of talk about my shopping problems and yeah. <sighs> but yeah, I love chatting about products so I will always respond if you guys comment down below. So if you guys are bored, cause it's quarantine, hit me up. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.